They got us in Ooh, he's, he's. a grouper blue spotted. See, look at this. He's not happy with them. They're about to battle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look, look, look. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's uh, Outcast here in uh, sunny South Florida. Sunny South Florida today, you know. Really cold. It's about uh, 60 degrees. Not used to it at all. Don't like it. But today we got something very special for you guys. We're getting a brand new fish for the tank. We're going to actually, actually, we don't know if we're getting it yet. So Barrier Reef, they called us. They said we got some predatory fish coming in, so we're gonna go check it out. And if it's a nice fish, if it's what we want, we don't know what exactly what it is yet, but if it's what we want, we're gonna get him, bring him home, and give that grouper a little bit more competition in that tank. You know, he's gonna have to battle it out, you know, with some other fish in there. So we're gonna head over to Barry Reef, check these fish out, see what they like it. But once again, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bell on. And uh, also check us out on Instagram. We're always there. It's a good way to communicate with us. So let's hop right into this video and check out this fish that they just got at the store. All right, guys. We're at Barrier Reef in the back. So here is our blue line grouper, that, or blue spotted grouper Dude, that they got in. Right? You guys can't see, but he's spicy. He's not super big. He's definitely smaller than our other grouper. So it's going to be interesting to see them get along. But he's pretty sick. He's sick. I like him. I like him too. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Yeah, let's get a good close-up on him. You guys are going to see really well in the light, but wow, he's, he's beautiful, actually. He's got nice spots. Okay, I didn't expect him to be this good looking, but yeah, he does have a little thing on his lip. It's like, Robin said it's like a little goatee. I think it's cool. It looks, it looks unique, but as you can see, his lip right there in the front, apparently it's supposed to be there. That's what the guy who got it in said. But yeah, let's see. Let's see on the photos. So yeah, see? As you can see, that is an adult one. That is supposed to be there. That's like their little, I guess that's the blue spotted grouper's thing. They have that weird thing on the top of their lip. It looks like kind of a cold sore or a canker sore or something. But I guess that's what they do. But he is, he is, you know, an angry fish. That's what we want. We want fish with some personality, with some aggression in that tank. And this gives us room for, honestly, one more grouper. I don't know. We'll see, guys. But that's, he looks really good, really healthy. And his spots are surprisingly really blue. I didn't think I, I didn't I didn't think the blue spot would be that awesome of a fish, but that's an awesome fish right there. You guys are gonna see better when he's under the lights and everything, but that's what we got so far. Also, guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see very well, but this Emperor Snapper, if they can find us a big one, like a good six incher, seven incher, I'm definitely thinking about that one because that's a beautiful fish. And you guys want to? I'll put a picture right here of what they look like when they're adults. That's an awesome fish, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, we are getting this fish. It is official. We're gonna bag it right now, and uh, I'm excited. That's a cool fish, and he's got a great personality. So I'm gonna bag it, and we're gonna send him home. You guys are gonna get a really good look at him when he's actually in the tank with the lights on. He's gonna look super cool. You guys haven't gotten a good look at him, so stick around, and uh, let's get this fish under some nice lights. Oh, yeah, that's the fish we want. <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> Nice and gone. Yes. Got Solid. Cool. All right, guys. Here's our grouper. We're gonna see how he's gonna react with the other one. I don't know. Our other one is very uh, territorial, I would say. Yeah. He gets very annoyed when people get into his area. Here is our new blue spot grouper. Let's see how these guys are gonna react. He's gonna be he's a little, big, dude. Little bit of a battle here. Yeah, he's a good size. He's a good size. So, so let's see if they're gonna fight. It's... He's a good size. He's not huge. I think he's perfect size. So yeah, let's see, uh, the grouper's already a little bit flared. This is pretty much the same grouper as our other one here, except our other one's orange, obviously, and this one's just got blue spots instead of, you know, navy and orange, so. All right, so we're gonna let them acclimate for 20, like 20 minutes, and then we'll put them in the tank. Guys, they're, they're battling hard Ooh. right now. Look yeah, at that color striping. change. Look they're at all striping. those color changes. They're gonna be fine. They, listen, it's gonna happen. Grouper's very territorial. When they come, like, they're probably one of the most territorial fish. They like their holes. They don't want to be anything near it. Anything that comes near it, they're going to get aggressive towards it. They're going to figure it out in no time. He's going to find his own hole. He'll probably be sitting in here or over there. That guy obviously loves his big den right there. So these guys are just going to have to battle it out, pretty much. That guy is way too big to be eaten, so we're not going to ha really have to worry at all. They're just going to battle for 20 minutes. It's going to be kind of cool, and uh, they're going to be fine. So... This guy only needs about five more minutes of acclimating. We're going to be putting him in, and now it's going to be round one. See, look at this. He's not happy with him. He's just showing him. Listen, I, I am the man. You are not. 
But look, you can see, look at the difference in size. Not much at all. The, the, the Mini Otis, the orange one, is just a little bit fatter. That's really it. They're about the same length, but they're going to be completely fine. Look. All right, guys. He's done acclimating. I have him in the bucket right now. I'm going to let him go inside the bucket right here, and then we'll just net him out. There he is. Look how beautiful fish he is. There's not much water in there, so we're going to do this fairly quickly. Let me net up, wet up the net a little bit. Perfect. Here we go. Let's see you guys. This is going to be, this is going to be a battle, without a doubt. Come on. Here we go, y'all. That's a beautiful fish. Like. It's a sick fish, dude. You better get in a hole quick. No, that's not where you want to go. Find a hole, buddy. Alright. You cut the lids. These guys, I'm just warning you, he's not going to be very happy at this grouper at all. At all. He sees him. The grouper sees the other grouper for sure. I'm going to get ready with my stick. Where did I put the stick? There it is. Getting ready with the stick, see? Oh, that's not too bad. He's giving it back to him. Yeah, he's giving it back to him. He's showing him. Listen, I'm a big boy. Oh, yeah, they're fine. This is going to happen. Yeah, he, he went off. That's a beautiful fish, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's very cool. That's pretty. That's blue as heck. I love it. And he's, he's definitely stressed out right now. He's going to be even more vibrant. Yeah. But I think what's best to happen right now is if we just let them just de-stress and uh, battle it out, they're going to be completely fine. And we'll start, we'll pick up the camera when everything's back to normal. And um, he's going to be sick in here. Just look at him already. He's a, He's active. He's not even hiding. Usually groupers is immediately hiding, especially when they go into a new home. This guy's out. He's moving around. He's vibrant in color. That's what you want to see. He's exactly what you want to see. Here comes the other grouper. And uh, don't forget about our eel. Our eel is still in, still in there. He's face to face with the grouper right now. The other one, our Mediatus. And um, yeah, this is completely fine. He showed a lot of aggression towards him when he was in the bag. See, here he comes. Look at that. See, they're just they're getting fine. big. They're getting big. They're showing each other. See, you guys can see the size difference. It's just the mini Otis is just bigger. He's just more broad. Like, if that makes any sense, he's just more muscular than this guy. But we'll beef this. We'll beef up this uh, blue dot. Is that blue dot? Blue spot. Blue spot. Blue spot grouper. Real good. And uh, this predator tank's coming along. We've got the eel. This grouper. And now the new grouper. And we got a damsel. <laughs> but we're waiting on that puffer you guys we're gonna put up two pictures one of the black it's all black with white dots it's something with a G some weird name and one is a yellow dog face we'll put both of them up one here one here let us know which one you guys like better we're gonna get whichever one comes in first because we've been waiting for these fish to come in this either or of these puffers to be coming in for almost three weeks now, so whichever one comes in first, we're gonna jump on, but we're just curious what you guys wanna see in this tank. So leave a comment down below which one you guys like. We just dim the lights, and we're gonna let these guys uh, settle in. You guys are bad on night, oh my god, yeah, they're swimming across all the whole tank right now. They're, they're, they're just, they're oh, showing dominance there, but that's how it's gonna have to be. And eventually, everything's gonna calm down, and they will be totally good. But that's how groupers are. They're very, very aggressive fish. And they get very territorial, but this is this is the battle for the ages right now, guys. This is the battle. We're getting grouper versus grouper. Grouper versus grouper is, is going to be sick. Once it's all said and done, and uh, they got the scorecards checked, it's going to be nice to have these guys in here. So you just got to let them battle it out. That's it. Simple as that. Hey, you better stop that. See, you, you show them a little bit of uh, we're the dominant force right here. Not you. You don't get to the side. So you just got to show them who's boss. That's us. We are the boss. So you better freaking relax. That's all I have to say. All right, guys, I'm walking up on the tank right now, and uh, the grouper, the new grouper is just sitting in the corner right here, just kind of trying to hide. I don't know what he's doing. He should be in the rocks, like hiding. And now the grouper is just being very territorial, very, very territorial, and he's showing him who's boss. He's going to dart out very soon here. I'm going to catch it on video, and he's just going to... Like basically just swim in circles around him. It's it's pretty wild. It's really cool. And uh, let's see if he does it for us. So I backed up because he does not seem to like do anything when I'm right up along the tank. So let's see if something happens now. Here we go, you guys. Here we go, you guys. Here we go. Look, he's flared. He's flared. 
See, this is what they do. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, dude, like, it's crazy how, like, territorial groupers really are. Like, in the wild, this is literally what they do. Like, in a way, I feel bad for that grouper, but I know it, this needs to happen in order for them to show, like, our mini artist grouper needs to show our grouper that we just got that he is the dominant one right now. So, they're probably going to be doing this every now and then, and uh, I'm going to catch it on video for you guys, because they're battling right now. Here we go. They're about to battle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look, look, look. Look at that. Look at what they're doing. See what I mean? They spin circles around each other. Look how crazy this is. Oh my god, they're literally battling right now. They are battling right in front of my eyes. I'm very close to them with the camera. Insane, you guys. 